Abner Games, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, asks, Can you do this one? The fastest Pentium D versus the slowest Corsia Duo, or Intel Atom versus Pentium 4. And both of these are great ideas. I'll keep an eye out for both of these chips and make a video about them. I don't even think the fastest Pentium D is any match whatsoever for even the slowest Corsia Duo, so that should be a good match. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the Atom vs. Pentium 4. Now, I no longer own an Atom netbook. However, I do have a netbook with an AMD C60. The C60 was AMD's alternative to the Intel Atom. Netbook shows the C60 as being about 10% faster than the Atom 450. I can agree with this as I used to own a netbook with an M450 and currently own the same model netbook but with, an N with a C60. The two are very similar with the C60 edging ahead just slightly. I believe that the reason it's faster is that the C60 is a true dual core, whereas the N450 is a dual threaded single core. The P4 I'll be using is a 3 GHz hyper threaded model with one core and two threads. It has an 89 watt TDP and was released in 2004. On the other side is the C60, which is a 1 GHz and turbos up to 1.33 GHz. It has two cores, therefore two threads, and a 19 watt TDP and was released in 2011, seven years after this Pentium 4. I'm not sure how reliable user benchmark is, as most of the info on these CPUs is completely wrong, but it lists a similar Pentium 4 as being 11% faster. We'll have to see. First up, let's get PC Mark out of the way. The Pentium 4 scored 409 while the C60 scored 370, making a difference of about 10%. The memory test, however, had a much wider gap, as the Pentium 4 scored 558 and the C60 scored 395, making for a difference of about 34%. I think one of the reasons for this is that the C60 only supports single channel RAM, whereas the Pentium 4 can operate in either single channel or dual channel, and that makes a huge difference. On to 7-zip. The C60 does lag behind the Pentium 4, but not by too much, with the Pentium 4 finishing 6 minutes sooner for a 35% difference in speed. With Cinebench, the gap closed quite a bit, with the Pentium 4 finishing only 9 minutes sooner, with the Pentium 4 scoring 200 and the C60 scoring 176, for a difference of only about 13%. Handbrake, again, neither of these CPUs were ever meant to render H.264, but the Pentium 4 once again pulled ahead by completing the render in 3 hours and 24 minutes, while the C60 finished in 4 hours 8 minutes, for about a 19% difference. I set up to play a 1080 30fps YouTube video full screen without any GPU acceleration. Neither was too happy about it, however I found 360p to be a resolution that the Pentium 4 could play somewhat reliably. The netbook on the other hand wasn't even sure about that. It would play 360 but with lots of drop frames and at one point it even dropped down to 144p on its own. I'm really surprised at how close these two CPUs are. You could say that the C60 did well by going up against a desktop CPU that was clocked far higher by only scoring slightly slower. Or you could say the Pentium 4 was a steaming pile of crap and that it had to be run at 3 GHz just to mildly beat a netbook CPU that came out seven years later. It's your choice. I know this was short of a short video because as far as games, I couldn't really do any benchmarks since the GPU wouldn't be the same between the two of them, but I might revisit that in the future using software rendering. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you could, help me out by hitting the likes button and subscribe if you want to see more. I have a lot of ideas and plan on making many more. Until then, you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.